Jules, you're, you're obsessing. Well, wouldn't you be? These people could be anywhere. They may still be alive. Okay, and what are you going to do? Give them back their flat? Yeah, why not? She starts to unravel this mystery, and it's a sort of, like, it's a mystery. It's a mystery story. It's a detective story. Um, she... Bec the character she is as a journalist, she becomes emotionally involved with it, so it becomes, it goes way beyond journalism, investigative journalism. It becomes her sort of, um, her grail, really, to find out who this person is. And it's hard for her to have to peel away these details and have to, f there's a beautiful scene when she's in the office of the man who has tracked down all these families. And she says, I'm about to move into an apartment and this address and she takes the she makes the decision to find out was this apartment owned by a Jewish family and in that case what were my family doing in it on the 16th and 17th of July 42 they arrested 13,000 Jews put them in the velodrome Hiver in inhuman conditions no beds no toilets barely any water and not one image exists i didn't want to tell people what to think. I didn't want to be a, like this moral advisor or anything. And uh, I just wanted to offer something that would make people think about that. But it's the audience work to think about it. And the most interesting thing is to think about it. It's the process to have questions about all this, you know? And, um, and so that's what we try to do. Mike, this was not the Germans, it was the French. There are an awful lot of people who are going to discover a lot of things that they did not know about France. They, they do not, a lot of people do not, and this is what my character says in, in the film, people do not know that there were camps in France, people do not know that Jews were put, rounded up and put on trains from France to, um, to death camps, they do not know that. did exist and um, at some point we have to deal with our past to move forward. Oui, mon frère. Ton frère. It deals with how events in the past still have an effect on our lives today and how these things don't go away. You learn to live with them, and you learn to move on with them. But um, you know, it becomes part of your history. It becomes part of our makeup as as French people, as Europeans, or as Jews, or as Gentiles, or you know, whoever we are. It all becomes it becomes part of our history, and we have to accept that and and keep going. And that's the, what's great about the human spirit is that we can keep. We do keep going. My father-in-law was there the day they found your uncle Michel. My mother didn't have any brothers. Do you recognize her? That's impossible. My mother wasn't Jewish. When I shot, for instance, the seat when they split the children and the mothers, uh, I had a survivor next to me who experienced that scene. You can imagine what kind of pressure you can feel when you have that. But then, you know, you're a filmmaker. You have a scene to shoot. And in order to be, you know, effective, and true to what happened, you can't really dive in this emotion. If you were Jewish, your life was in danger. My whole life is a lie. 